here today with Valpo men's basketball coach Bryce Strew to talk about the release of this coming season schedule for the 2013-2014 season. Coach Strew, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you, Valpo fans, for tuning in. Uh, first off, just talk a little bit about the process of trying to create a non-conference schedule for fans who might not be as familiar with the process. Uh, what do you kind of go through when you're creating a schedule, and what, what do you kind of look for in teams you uh, schedule games against? You know, one of the great benefits of being in the Midwest, there's so many great universities and basketball programs uh, close to us. And so our first priority is to get uh, universities uh, that are close to us, and so our travel isn't as far, and so our fans can travel and watch us. So uh, that's our first priority, and then our second priority is is to get teams that can help prepare us for our conference season. Our conference is very competitive. There's many different styles of play in our conference, so we try to get a variety of styles to help prepare us. Uh, looking at the schedule, obviously the team has kind of a history of going on the road and playing at BCS opponents in the past, schools like Nebraska, Arizona, Ohio State, Duke, North Carolina, and you can go back to any season and find one or two. This season, you guys are playing at Illinois, and I guess the first question is, did Coach Powell, being a graduate of Illinois, have anything to do with that? And then also, does it help you out in the recruiting process at all to be able to tell potential Valpo basketball players, hey, you're going to be able to compete once or twice a year against the big boys? You know, uh, we've known Coach Gross for a while. We played him uh, years ago when he was at Ohio. And um, he's an excellent coach, has an excellent job with this program. Um, we recruit a lot of uh, players that are on the same team, so we get to talk to him in the summers. And um, just kind of developed, and uh, he was kind enough to, uh, to let us uh, come down and be able to play him. And um, I'm sure there's no question, uh, no doubt, having you know, Coach Powell on staff, um, that that's an added bonus, and their fans will be probably very excited to uh, see him. I'm sure he'll get a great ovation down there. And, um, and, you know, we're very excited for that game and, and, and just very excited for our players to have the opportunity to play against, um, you know, the level of competition that Illinois will be. Great home schedule for you guys this year. Probably one of the best that uh, you've had in the past few years. Highlighted Murray State the season opener Friday night, uh, November 8th. St. Louis coming to town December 7th as well. Uh, five total non-league games at home against 20 win teams from a season ago when you throw in UCF, Mercer, and James Madison. What are fans going to be able to see? What should they expect from some of these teams coming in that have experienced success in the recent past? Well, it's perhaps maybe one of the toughest non-conference home schedules that, uh, that we've had in a long time. Um, like you mentioned, five of those teams won 20 or more games last year. And so um, I think our fans are in for a, a nice treat for the caliber of uh, programs that will be coming into the arc. In all, uh, including road games, nine total games in the non-league part of the schedule against teams that won at least 20 games a season ago. When you consider all the guys who kind of who moved on, graduated from last year's team, you know a lot of newcomers on this year's team. Is it a statement about the confidence you have in this group that you're prepared to throw them against a schedule which includes so many quality programs, despite? Their, some of their relative inexperience playing together? Well, you know, we definitely, uh, you know, want to help prepare them for conference season. Um, our conference is going to be, you know, one of the, the best years um, um, level of competition from top to bottom uh, that it's been in a long time. And so um, we feel like we really want to throw our guys in the fire and try to prepare them so they're not too stunned, you know, when conference season comes. And, um, you know, the other part that goes with that is, you know, a lot of teams don't want to play the teams that you just mentioned uh, because they are very good teams and they're going to be very good this year and so um, you know it's definitely going to be a challenge for our guys and um, I think our guys will be excited and I think we'll get better and improve from playing those teams. You mentioned a couple times the Horizon League how it's always challenging and this year's shaping up to be a very challenging season. Of course this year the big story the addition of Oakland to the league um, a rivalry dating back to the old Midcon days and in the last few years it's kind of been renewed three very, very close games. What's it mean to be able to bring Oakland into the Horizon League and have fans be able to experience that rivalry twice a year again? You know, you know I believe it's a tremendous addition for our league, um, tremendous from a, a, a sports impact, um, tremendous from a location um, impact, and I just think it's a great fit. You know, basketball-wise, we have a great rivalry already um, with playing them so many times in the past. They play a very exciting style. 
and um, I, I would think that a lot of our fans would really enjoy seeing them play. They're going to be very good this year. They return perhaps maybe one of the, the best shooters, if not the best shooter um, in the country. All right, Coach Drew, thank you for joining me here today to talk about your schedule for this upcoming season, and you know, good luck in preseason preparations. Thanks, Aaron.